Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. In this video, you'll learn all about the Doodly interface. Please click the like and subscribe button below. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we release free trainings. And if you have any questions about what we cover, leave a comment and the awesome Doodly community would love to help. Thanks for watching. Now let's get straight to the training. Welcome to Doodly, the simplest drag and drop Doodle video creator. In this short tutorial, I'm going to take you on a tour of Doodly so you can get comfortable with the software and what it can do. So let's jump in. When you first open Doodly, you'll go to the My Videos page. It's a dashboard listing all of your Doodly projects, along with some resources that are available to you. Along the top, you've got some thumbnails that will take you to your most recent videos. Here in the middle are all of the Doodly projects you've ever created. You'll notice the title, when it was created, when it was modified, the length of the video, how many scenes it has, and the actions that you can take, such as edit or delete. Now, if you right click on one of the videos, you'll have the option to duplicate it or delete it. Duplicating a video is really handy if you want to make a template and then base future videos off of that template. Here in the middle and bottom section, you have some resources. You can go to the Doodly Marketplace to purchase additional Doodle images if you'd like. The Doodler Toolbox contains all of the different products in the family. You'll see that I own Doodly Enterprise and Doodly Rainbow add-on. You can also purchase the ones that you don't currently own. For example, in my case, Doodly Elite Masterclass, Toonly, or Voomly. Let's create a new video by clicking Create New Video. You want to give it a title. Select which type you'd like. I'll go for the default whiteboard and select a resolution. I'll just leave it at this default resolution for now and I'll change it if I need to. Click Create. On the left, we have the asset panel, which contains all of the different parts and components that will make up your whiteboard video. So you can have your scenes, characters, props, text, sounds, and marketplace items. They're all in this panel. Then there are some buttons here that you can fiddle with. Categories will arrange the items in different ways based on the category type. All, club, or shared. Right now I have it set to all. Club items are for enterprise users. These are added monthly. They add new images each month. And then shared items are, are items that you may have shared with other users. I don't have any in this case. Now this little beach ball turns Doodly Rainbow on and off if you own it. So if I turn it on, you'll see my images are in full color now. Working with assets is super easy. All you have to do is drag and drop them into your whiteboard. Once in place, you can move them and you can align them. If you click the show grid button here, you have a grid that makes it really handy for lining up items. Hide it. And you'll notice this scene here appears down below in the timeline. If you look, this right now is a four second scene. The timeline has multiple tracks. You've got your video track, your music track, and your voiceover track. This tool here is controls panning and zooming. So if you wanted the camera to zoom in on this man, you would use this tool to do that. So let's add a music track. Go over to sounds. Doodly comes with a large library of free, royalty-free music that you can use on your videos. So you'll just go down through the list, listen to them by clicking this little play button and finding what you'd like. Once you find one, you just drag and drop it into the music track. And now you'll notice my video is much longer. It's no longer just four seconds long. It's a minute. 45 seconds or thereabouts long. So to add another scene, you simply click this plus button here 
and you can add additional content and build your scene accordingly. You can also add a voiceover by clicking the plus button. Before we move away from the timeline, I wanted to point out this button here, settings. Now this contains all of the different settings that you can change for your video. So if you want to change it to a, a chalkboard, you can change it, or you could change the hand and you can change the hand style. You can make it left-handed. Maybe you want to make it a cartoon hand and you know, just go crazy with it. You can change the title right here, as well as make some changes to how the video acts and its resolution. I'm going to click cancel. Now over here in the right side is the actions panel. And you'll see you can save, preview, or export your video. And you have another settings section. You, this time it's scene settings. And it looks very similar to what we had before. And that's because you can change these settings on a scene by scene basis. Or if you leave it checked, it will be consistent across the board. You can also change the animation at the end of each scene. By default, it's swipe left, but you can change that if you'd like. You can also add extra time at the end of each scene, which is really helpful because oftentimes once the hand stops drawing, you want that image to stay on for a little bit longer before it disappears. You can reduce or increase the view as well as control the different items, delay, point, and duration time. Adding a delay means the item will start drawing after the amount of time has elapsed. Duration is how long it takes for the hand to draw the image. You'll notice as I increase or decrease the length of time, the change is reflected down here in the timeline. If you'd like more space for your canvas, you can hide both of the panels and then show them when you need them. Now you may notice there are two types of previews. You have the full screen preview here, and you have this smaller preview over here that shrinks down the images. You still see the scene on the right, and then you'll see the scene over here when you click play. And you'll notice it corresponds to where the playhead is in the timeline. So if you wanted to real quick just check out a certain section, you could do that. So there's quite a bit more control with this particular preview option. Finally, this upper section of the Doodly interface has some information and links. On the far right, you'll find your name. You can click it to see your user details or log out. Here in the middle is the title of your current video. You can change the name of the title if you'd like by just going in and typing right over it. Clicking My Videos will take you right back to that My Videos page that we went over earlier. Now that you're settled in, it's time to select a board type and hand style for your first video, which you can learn about in our next tutorial video. Thanks for watching.